Whatever happened to his predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bend. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you go. All right, folks, Remington, F Remington, start letter A. Good breath, right, every four measures. One, two, ready? Chop builders, please. All right, everybody, let's get up our chop builders. Choose your option. I'm going to be playing 3A right now. Okay, ready? One, two, chop builders. One, two, ready? <sighs> kids, it's time to get to work. Put away your stuffed animals, get up your rhythm charts, because it's time for band. Chart 13, line 2. Pause the video if you need to, if not, let's get started. All right, so a little bit of review. Um, the rhythm that we're going over right now is this little guy, gal, right here. Um, we got a dotted eighth next to a 16th. Reminder, dotted eight sixteenth, when broken down in the 16th notes, looks like this. 16th tied to 16th, tied to 16th, right? So we have a big one, little e, little and, big up. So we go one e and up. Say that, ready, go. One e and up. Good, now say one, Ready, go. 
one, uh, great. Okay, now say one, uh, ready, go. One, uh, okay, one more time. Ready, go. One, uh, all right, good job. Now, let's write in the counts to this. If you need to review that, please go back in the video and do so. Pause this at any time if you need to, uh, to take a second and write in the counts, all right? So, let's look at this measure. We got a big one, big and, big two, big and. Then we have a three, which is a dotted eighth note, a uh, four, okay? Next measure, easy peasy, one and, two and, three and. And then a big four, and a big up, okay? All right, here is my best Vanna White impression. So you can pause the video and write in the counts. Okay, now that you're done with that, let's count some of it, all right? Um, let's look at the first measure. I put a repeat sign because measure one and two are the same, measure three and four are the same, right? All right, ready? Count measure one and two, both measures. One. Two, measure one and two, go. One and two and three, a four. One and two and three, a four. Good, one more time. Ready and go. One and two and three, a four. One and two and three, a four. Good, we're subdividing sixteenths. We're thinking about all the sixteenths in our head when we, when we count that. All right. Next two measures, three and four, count them. One and two, three and four, count, go. One and two and three and four, a one and two and three and four, a. One more time, ready, go. One and two and three and four, a one and two and three and four, a. All right, count the whole line, ready, one, Two, whole line, count it, go. One and two and three, a four. One and two and three, a four. One and two and three and four, a one and two, three and four, a. All right, I had to breathe in there, my bad. Um, but if you need to go back and do that again, please go back and do that again. And let's go ahead and sizzle, all right? Um, First note of your concert F Remington is what you should, you should be playing this on, except for horns. Horns, I want you to play a C in the stack, so trigger, open, or Aiden, just open, right? Well, Aiden, anybody who has a single horn. Single horns, just open. All right, sizzle. One, two, whole line, sizzle, go. <laughs> Pick a note, it doesn't matter what note. I'm gonna play it on the drill. Ready? One and two, play it one more time, go. All right, great job. Moving on to the next thing. Welcome. It's time for another scale. Right now we're going to be covering the A flat scale. So we're going to start by going through those key signatures. So find your clef, treble or bass, find your time signature. And in between that is what we like to call the key signature. Now this should be easy to find because you're currently in your binder looking at your scales or you're looking in your blue book towards the back, page 42, 43, around there, looking at your scales for concert A flat. Now, if you are a flute, an oboe, a bassoon, a trombone, a baritone, or a tuba, or a percussionist playing on your bell kit, you should have four flats in your key signature. You're part of the four flat club. So let's think about our key signature word, Biegesif. We have the first four letters, B, E, A, and D. B 
B-flat, E-flat, A-flat, and D-flat. Now, if you've just played our E-flat video, we know that that's only one new flat, okay? So let's look then at our clarinets, our tenor saxes, and our trumpets. We have a slightly different key signature. For these instruments, we are part of the two-flat club. So we only have the first two letters of B gesif, B and E. Now, the next group of instruments, we're going to go to the horns. Now, the horns, we are now part of the three-flat club, B, E, and A. And then finally, our alto saxophones, we are part of the one-flat club, just B-flat. Make sure you use that bis key. All right, so we're going to walk through, and I want you to do each part of this video three times. We're going to do the scale. We're going to do the arpeggio, and we're going to do the thirds. And each one of those I'd like you to do three times, at least. If you find yourself making mistakes, go to the settings of this video and change the speed. You can change the speed, you know, times half. You can do times 0.25. Uh, make it a lot slower and easier for you because practice makes perfect. So I want you to letter name it the first time. I want you to sizzle it the second time, and I want you to play it the third time. Let's do this. Here is your concert A flat scale. One, two, three. Now, like I said, take that back two more times and go through the sizzling and the playing of it. And if you need more, that's fine. All right, next we're going to approach the arpeggio. Give me a second to work it out. Got it, all right, wonderful. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so the arpeggio, let's go ahead and begin. You're gonna do this three times. Here it is, one, two, three. Okay, that's the arpeggio. Last, but certainly not least, are the thirds. These can be quite tricky sometimes. Take your time. Do it many, many, many times because we don't want to practice till we get it right. We want to practice till we can't get it wrong. All right, let's try this the A flat major scale in thirds. I'll count you off, two, three. segments of your scale. Now, we're going to take a look at some of the special interest cases. Now, of course, our brass players, you're probably just going to be playing this scale in one octave. The one exception is the horn. Now, the horn, you may be able to play this in two octaves, but, you know, that the, the low, low one is quite low. So please consult your fingering chart uh, for those horn fingerings. Uh, for our clarinets, I would expect that some of you are going to begin doing this scale in two octaves, if possible. So we're going to talk about the second octave really quick. If you're not a clarinet, if you're not a saxophone, if you're not a uh, one of those two, you can just turn this video off if you're done. But I want to talk to clarinets. So in clarinet land, we start, if we're doing the second octave, the higher ones, we're going to start with a B flat that's higher, which is the A key and the register key in four, five, six. You quickly go up to the third space C, which is thumb one, two, three, four, five, six, register and BIP. Then you lift up BIP key to go to D, D. And you're gonna put that same pinky back down, but rather than BIP, now you're gonna use TIP. So it's thumb, register, one, two, three, four, five, six, and TIP. That's how you play E flat. 
Hold on one second, I got something on my computer screen. Okay, and now we take a few fingers off to get to the next note, which would be F. We have to take three fingers off. So all you're left with is thumb register, one, two, three, four, to play high F. Now the next one, we just take this right hand off completely, and all we're left with is thumb, one, two, three, which is a G. Then you lift up your third finger, and that gives you a high, a high A. And then finally, you add the side key here while leaving the left hand the same to play high B flat. And then you just bring it back down in opposite order. Here it is all together. Now saxophones, you're a slightly different case. You can play with the clarinet or any of the other scale videos, but let me show you all of the fingerings. And I totally forgot to get my saxophone out, so let me go ahead and get that. Okay, I'm not gonna put the whole thing together, but here's the sax, okay? So when we're playing um, the second octave of the scale, your first few notes are exactly the same. We have an F to start with, which is thumb, one, two, three, four. You know that, G is the same as the low one, a is the same as the low one, B flat's the same as the low one, C is the same as the low one, except we have the octave key. But now we're gonna get a little fancy. If you look at these keys here, it's kinda hard to see with the camera angle, but the one that's closest to me right here, that's the D key. That's how we play the high D note above the staff. And you're gonna go thumb, and then you use the palm. Notice I'm using this area of my hand right here, and the rest of it wraps around. High E, what I'm gonna use is the first two palm keys, this one and this one. But I use the palm and I use the first finger. Here's another angle, palm and first finger. That's high E, almost. We finally add that for high E. So once again, we go F, G, A, B flat, C, palm key D, and to get to high E, you add this finger and this finger at the same time, so that's high E. And finally, your high note F, you keep all that down, but you also add the ring finger to this last one for a high F. And then you bring it back down. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed our concert A-flat scale video. Please be practicing all the octaves of your scales. Scales should be your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then some after. Because remember, we don't practice till we get it right. We practice till we can't get it wrong. All right, eighth grade, now we're doing number 72, Skill Builder. Uh, you can see I have it up here. Um, so you can find your line, find your instrument, and follow along, or just get your book up. Um, that would be easier for some of you. Um, all right, so a couple things. First of all, uh, moderato means moderately, so about here. Bum, 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 bum. That's B. Um, we have, for some of you, four flats. Flute, oboe, low brass, and mallets, except we don't have a mallet part for this one. You're gonna be doing your pad for that. Um, if you're doing the pad, uh, and we're going too slow for you because of all the notes and rhythms, you can just stop the video and practice it on your own. You're more than welcome. Um, all right, so we have uh, four flats for flute, oboe, low brass, um, and those flats are B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. B, E, A, D, right, B, G, S, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. So B flat, E flat, you know the fingerings for those. A flat, third finger, or sorry, third position, first finger for those brass people. And thumb, one, two, three, pinky, pinky for flutes. Thumb, one, two, three, pinky for oboe. Um, plus, actually, I think it's the high one. Yeah, so you need your regis register key as well, or your octave key. All right. Um, D flat for flute. Just your pinky, D flat for trombone, fifth position, D flat for baritone, tuba, two and three. Um, and there was one more thing. Oh, oboe, that's right. So we have thumb, one, two, three, um, or no, not thumb. Half hole on one, two, three, four, five, six, 
plus that middle pinky key on the bottom, a circle one, okay? All right, um, also oboe, pay attention to forked fingerings and um, the right F fingerings. We have a forked one with a circle here, forked with a circle here, right F here because we're coming from E natural, and forked with a circle here because we're going to E flat next, okay? So pay attention to those. Um, all right. Now we have three flat club that would be French horn. You have B flat, E flat, A flat. Um, B flat one, E flat two, A flat two and three. And we're going kind of low here, horns. Um, so low G, right? You're gonna really have to open up your aperture and um, drop your tongue, drop your, open your throat, all right? For that low G there. Um, and we have the two flat club, B flat, E flat trumpet and clarinet and bass clarinet. Sorry, also I forgot bassoon. Abby, I keep forgetting you. Um, bassoons have four flats, right? B flat, E flat, A flat. Um, trumpets, clarinet, bass clarinet, B flat, E flat. Um, first finger, B flat, second and third finger for E flat for trumpets. And then we have, this one's much easier than yesterday's clarinets. B flat, right? This one, not this one, B flat here, okay? Um, all right. Oh, and another thing, clarinets, we see uh, there's a lot of stuff to go over in this one. Clarinets, we see this asterisk right here above F sharp. That means you're going to be using the alternate F sharp fingering, okay? Alternate F sharp is going to be thumb, same as F, but then you're gonna add the two bottom right side keys, okay? So F sharp, alternate F sharp, remember, thumb, bottom right side, side keys, both of them, okay? Um, I think that about covers it, all right? We're gonna be mezzo forte, there's no dynamic changes. Let's uh, just get rolling, okay? All right, see a lot of accents on there. Um, first measure, sounds like this. Notice my st eighth notes are staccato because that's within the style of the piece, okay? Um, everybody say, toe, 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 ready, go. Toe, do, do, toe, toe, sizzle, two, measure one, go. Great, next measure, um, count it. One, two, count, measure two, go. One, e, and a two, and three, and four, and one more time, ready, and go. One, e, and a two, and three, and four, and good. Okay, notice we have an accidental on the last note. Last note is an accidental, right? So um, flutes, we got thumb, one, two, three, four, five, pinky for E natural. Um, same with uh, oboe, except no pinky. Clarinet, we got alternate F sharp. I just went over it. Thumb plus the bottom right side keys, both of them. Saxophone, C sharp, open, tenor sax. Uh, thumb, one, two, three, or no thumb. Just one, two, three, and five, right? Um, trumpets, second finger, F sharp. Horn, second finger, B natural. Trombone, second position, E natural. Baritone, tuba, second finger, E natural. All right, um, let's go ahead and sizzle that measure. One, two, ready, go. Notice the accents again. Two, sizzle, ready, go. If you need to sizzle again, go back in the video. If not, play it with me. One, two, ready, go. Play it again. Ready, go. If you need to go back and review it, go back and review it. If not, let's sizzle the first two measures. One, two, sizzle, go. Play it, one, and let's add the plus one, add that extra note. Let's play it, two, ready, go. If you need to go back and practice that again, go back and practice it again. If not, let's move on. Um, also for 100%, right, we're looking for those accents all that are written in there. There's a lot of them. Okay, next measure, sizzle it. One, two, sizzle, go. Beat number three, right, is flat for everybody except for saxophones. Saxophones, you have F natural. Everybody else, we got 
B flats in trumpet, clarinet. We got A flats, flute, oboe, trombone, baritone, tuba, um, tenor sax, B flat, right, alto sax, F natural. Okay, make sure you play in that. All right, that measure again, sizzle, two, ready, go. Play measure three. One, two, ready, go. Good, play it one more time. Now, you know what, if you have to, play it, all right? Measure four, which is the first ending. Sizzle, two, ready, go. Again, two, ready, go. Play it. Two, fast air, go. Again, play it, ready, go. Great, okay, play measure three and four together. One, two, three, and four, go. And then we go back to measure number one. Let's all sizzle the second ending, okay? We have accents, we have two, 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 toe, toe, say that, go. Two, 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 toe, toe, again, ready, go. Two, 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 toe, toe, sizzle. Two, ready, go. Again, go. One more time, go. Play it. Two, ready, go. Again, go. Good. All right, if you need to review that at all, go back and do it again. Let's do the road map really quick. So we start with measure number one. Measure two, measure three, measure four. Then we go back to one, two, three, five, right? Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, okay? All right, sizzle the whole thing, and then brass is gonna mouthpiece, woodwind sizzle again, and then everybody play, all right? Ready, sizzle, everybody. One, two, ready. Mouthpiece woodwind sizzle again, or play if you are doing really well. Ready? Brass mouthpiece woodwind sizzle. One, two, ready. together. Okay, ready? One, two, ready. the second measure is what everybody's going to have a little bit of trouble with, uh, then please just take a couple minutes on your own and practice that second measure, okay? Um, we will also be doing this on the Friday lesson. This is a test, okay? We expect those accents to pop out, all the right fingerings, um, all of the above. If you have any questions about any, any of that, please email me um, or message me on Google Classroom. All right, great job. I will see you on Friday.